Hello everyone, Proxy War here, and welcome back to the channel. This is part two of my England campaign for the 12-12 AD mod for Total War Attila. And we're picking up where we last left things. We just had conquered Wales, and we sent our half-brother William to York here, just to replenish and get some uh, more men and everything like that. Get resupplied as we start gearing up for war against Scotland. Uh, we should be able to take them out in this episode, hopefully. Let's just take a look at our family tree, just to remind ourselves about whatever going on. So there's a half brother, he's a constable, all the way at the top. Uh, here we are. Just wanted to see if we can do any assassination things. But everyone seems to be quite happy, actually. Yeah, that's fine. We are all good, actually. Everyone seems to be quite happy. We are balanced. That's the balance of power, so that's, that's fine. Anyone with crazy, strong... Influence, I'm uh, not that I'm looking at because we like to like Oh, you can be You can get in there to Get that guy a promotion because why not? Um, so the, the last battle that I played We lost a couple of extra spearmen and stuff. I think we had 18 troops, but for some reason my save wasn't saved when I quit So that was very strange. So I had to replay that battle and we did a little bit better uh, So that's why there's a little bit more men than there were last time. Anyway, that's um like I said, repair all the things here. We've got 15 turns on our technology. These guys are really unhappy. We'll take a look. Why current change per turn? Um, okay, political situation, religious differences. Okay, we just need to like upgrade um, all these sorts of things. We'll have some troops planted there. Um, any agents? Can we get any agents? No, it doesn't look like it. Can raise another army, but I don't think that's necessary. We still haven't fleshed out this one just yet. I think for these guys, why can I not get this unit? Not too sure why, but let's get some of these then. I've got 16 in total, plus with the 19, that's fine. What can we get here? I mean, we need to replenish up anyway. It's going to take four, four turns. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, we can go for more knights. Oh, we need spearmen. So we'll probably move back to... Oh, we have to stay here for a bit anyway, just to replenish. Um, but that's okay, we'll be sieging. That's fine, we'll, we'll get some spearmen uh, later. We have billmen anyway, so let's just recruit n now. Um, we can still afford it, so we get one of those. Uh, you got three coming in. Perfect. Uh, you guys aren't looking too happy. If we have to raise the forces to sort of garrison, we will. So that's not too bad. Let's look at the diplomacy now. See if anyone wants some trade. Oh, doubt these guys. Well, let's sort by trade. Uh, Kingdom of France. Really not happy with us. You are welcome. But that low. Low chance of trade with France, that's fine. Go take a look at these other guys here, that's also fine. Holy Roman Empire we can't trade with, and we're trading with everyone else that we have met. Oh, yeah. What is your faction called? Are we, oh, we are actually trading with them. We are noteworthy, we are dependable, and we're strength rating 6. Okay, that's fine. Let's take a look at Scotland just to see what they compare as. We are trading with them as well. And my is Eastern Christians, interesting. Um, and we are we are trading with them, but they are strength rating 38. So we do outgun them as it were. That's fine. Technology wise, we're going for city charters to get their population growth up, just to help gear our populations up for further conquest as we spread out towards Europe. So that's fine. We need to take these guys out um, sooner rather than later. Um, healing, yep. So I'm just going to take a couple of uh, interns just to heal up. We can get some governors now, I guess. Uh, that's fine. So who do we want as a... So you loyal. Let's get like our loyal troops. You're very loyal. We want to put you in um, Sussex. Robert can get Essex. This costs a lot of money to do, does it not? I thought it did. Let's get whales as well. I thought this cost money. I don't know why it's not doing that. Is it because they've got an office? I'm not too sure. Um, let's give you Wessex. Uh, we can have one more, probably Mercia. 
built them, we can get all these edicts up and running. So we want to go for probably just the growth, right? Makes sense to me. So construct rural way houses. This gives us money from farming, wealth, and growth. So, I mean, maybe here we go. Empower local ruler. Get the public order up. The same here, probably. And what does that do? Actually, we get also my maintenance 50% cost to that. Okay. We want to get salt here in Nottingham when we can. Cool. And, oh, no, Aquitaine, we've actually assigned a province as well. Um, you're quite happy, so we'll give you growth. You know, if you manage to live, then fair enough, that's not too bad. Okay, so there we go. Cool, that's uh, end of turn there. I think that's pretty good for the first start of today's episode. So we've got Sicily. Oh, they're actually coming towards us. They might just land and take over Bordeaux. Oh my gosh, could you imagine that? Super annoying. We didn't think they would actually sell on to us, like they would fight the Holy Roman Empire, but maybe because we're a bit weaker to them, who knows. The Fifth Crusade, okay. So Pope Innocent III has proclaimed a new crusade f uh, to free the Holy Land from the sacraments of the f at the Fourth Church of the Lantern held this year. Various Catholic rulers have soon be asked to join the crusade, though it intends to target is not precisely known. So the Tenga target is not precisely known. Um, offer secured. Cool. Oh, we got County of Flanders, and they're going off to France. Oh man, you you go, guys, taking on our our ancient enemies, you know. Uh, and future, obviously, speaking to like towards Napoleon and stuff later on. Um, can upgrade some castles, but I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. It's a lot of money and maintenance for no real reason. You guys are slightly better, slightly happier, so you can last a couple of extra turns. Um, still recruiting, so I can't move up these guys. You're still recruiting. Um, don't know if you want to get extra knights, English knights. Uh, I think just more infantry, but then when we go towards on crusade and stuff, mustering, oh, higher mercenaries, no, let's not do that. Uh, you're fine, what can we upgrade here? Here we can upgrade to a castle, we've got quite a lot of food and stuff, we can do it. If, we, if anything, we should upgrade uh, London, right? Because it is our capital, and that gives us a little bit of extra sanitation and stuff. And then with the adjoining regions, that's also not quite good, I think. So we'll upgrade London at least. We'll take a couple of turns. Uh, all our edicts have been issued, which is good to see. Um, everyone is kind of happy, but not really. Uh, and then all the known factions. I really like the trade. Maybe we can go to peace with uh, Sicily here. Speak your terms. Nope. Okay, that looks like they don't. They're not really interested. Oh, we may have to rally a force down here just to help save it. Uh, well, we got quite a lot, plus a governor. Hmm. Let's raise a force. Someone we don't really care about, though. Administration, marksman, rider. Probably a marksman for defense of the city. And then we'll recruit. They're just like cheap units. It is a great and glorious like thing to three units of spears people. like it's just that little bit extra you know so we've got four units in total plus all that not too bad okay that's um in the turn our recruitment will be done and then we can march to scotland i wonder how much attacking them is going to affect our standings with everyone so they have a full stack so just a little bit of extra spears to help hold the walls i mean we can always suspend them later so it's not a huge issue you know so that's fine. Disease outbreak. Oh, we actually, uh, we definitely want to build a. Oh, no, we've got a library here. Hmm. Fairground. Nice. Well, when this upgrades, we'll want to get a leper colony probably, and then we can go into like a physician, just to help with all the uh, disease outbreaks and everything. Okay, it is winter, so this. Even if we just move out a little bit, we're gonna take unwanted attrition. So, don't want to move out anywhere. I wonder why we can't get um, more guys. So we've got some sh um, medium shock infantry, so the axe sergeants. 
So not good at all when it comes to getting shot with by archers. They'll just die because they don't have any shields or anything. Um, I don't know why we can't recruit these guys. I would like to also build a military order priory thing. Um, maybe up in Edinburgh. And then that way we can get some Knights Templar and things like that. That'll be pretty cool. They're not as strong as the Teutonic Knights. But we can always like go back there later. You know, redo the campaign <laughs> as England. <laughs> That'll be pretty cool. Um, cannot... That's fine. You guys are fine. Okay, that's okay. One more rapid end turn. I mean, so there's not much we can do. Um, do Kingdom of Portugal. Yeah. Sure, I don't mind. The people see you as worthy allies and suggest that you consider an Again, we can go after the land in southern Spain here if we wanted to have a sort of a springboard. We know Sorry, Scotland. We actually are coming for you next, so. Yeah, they are, they are definitely, oh, they're sending another army. Okay, we should probably recruit an extra couple of spearmen. Oh, Kingdom of Denmark. Oh, this, this happened last time. I think it did. Um, like I said, these are saved and kick in properly, so it's a little bit different. Um, you'll go enter war on the silent ally. But then again, you're bringing me into like all sorts of different wars and things. But we were going to harm our relations by attacking another catholic faction in our own land and breaking the peace treaty in our own land in scotland's land and now we'll be breaking the trade agreements and stuff so yeah okay perfect uh we'll march you on, on the move. we'll be able to hit this this uh, summer we'll hit this in autumn it looks like uh you guys are not particularly happy but that's fine we'll be able to win these wars relatively quickly and then go on uh recruit still these guys are not able to recruit not too sure why um we hunger for battle there we go and we'll obviously sing uh, we'll send in king john here to uh take on these guys um uh, both armies should upgrade though anyway um our populations are growing quite rapidly actually look at that huge growth four until that's done okay well it's gonna get to number three next and that's needs seven again we can get the salt here um or even just like another church or something uh, let's go down here we still got quite a bit of cash so let's build a couple more you want billmen it depends what they have in their army though let's get um a little more expensive but let's get two more units of billmen and one more unit of um, spears and that, that that should be plenty I mean we still have all the archers so we have one two three four um, five plus two units of those yeah five plus that as well yeah we'll, we'll be fine non-aggression pacts have been formed between us and uh, Portugal and Castile here yeah, perfect and we are at war with the kingdom of Denmark hopefully they don't just come on and attack us straight away. Let's see how Denmark is doing. Not Denmark, um, see how Holy Roman Empire are doing. You're fine. Um, you're a caliphate type faction. Don't want to be dealing with you. Speak quickly. Uh, you're fine. Oh, sorry, I just had to move my microphone a little bit. Um, hopefully that sounds a bit better. Uh, Flounders. Oh, we can now trade with you. On behalf of our people. Nice. Welcome. And they're going to pay me for the Speak, privilege. Friend. And honor us all with speak wisdom, friend wisdom. and enter you know what i'm saying right anyone that gets that reference you have lived a good life um cool we get some trade don't look at me like all sad and depressed you've actually conquered normandy so you know taking out a bit of france oh wow france is actually looking pretty weak actually so we could get scotland come down take out F france maybe Get all this land. That'll be quite nice, actually. But we have to sort out these public audit issues. Again, I don't know what the... Difficulty level is the main thing. And then taxes. So we can always... Drop some taxes. How much? Okay, that puts a stopper on it for now. Except here, but that's recently conquered. So that's fine. We'll drop the taxes a little bit. See how long that takes. Um, can't attack them this turn. And another turn. So Spain, I'm not Spain, France is looking pretty weak. So yeah, we could definitely go after them. Could be, oh, they've actually, let's focus on one war at a time. Seriously, like we need to 
first defend ourselves against Sicily and then we if we defeat these armies we can then peace out with them maybe even vassalize them that would be pretty cool but I doubt it uh, just based on my other let's play that I've done uh, new pope elected mission issued we need to build a church of some description um, but I don't I wonder if we can like demolish it or just repair it, demolish it and then build it up. Here we've got a Catholic priory which should help us produce, um, so we're exporting wine which is nice. Wow, 800, wow that's very good. Yeah, so wine is needed, a lot of people like to get drunk and I don't blame them. Okay, there we go, that's um, declare war. Do they have any allies? They do not, we won't call our own allies in. So we are steadfast, let's see if it drops. We are, tr we are just trustworthy. Let them cower like cattle dogs! Um, lots of swordsmen, some cavalry, and not too many archers. So, let's get some siege towers. So we'll have six in total. Barricades available. Three turns until they start running out. I mean, I hate waiting that long anyway. But we'll literally just back you up right away. We will have that battle today, obviously, and then probably end it there. But we'll... Just remind myself that, you know, we are still... Oh, we're still recruiting extra troops as well. So we, our income is going to drop. But I think the the lower taxes are just going to help us grow our cities faster as well. So we should keep it on a lower tax rate for now. But I need to remember to put it up again later. Um, but maybe we'll be fine. We'll see. You know, we've got lots of sergeants here. Very nice. Okay, that's um, another rapid end turn. And then we'll go after Edinburgh. Where um, my be my best friend sort of uh, just moved there. I wouldn't say just moved. It's been a couple of months now. Oh man, you are just literally causing all sorts of wars, man. I know they only use one little faction, but seriously, okay, let's stay on side with the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, okay, like, now the Duchy of Austria is going after them, I just, okay, frick it, let's just stop, they're causing us to be dragged into, like, all, all wars against them, and I can't fight all of Western Europe, <laughs> that's what happened to my last campaign, so. The Holy Bible may preach peace, but when it is Christendom itself that is threatened then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. Nice, the... Looks like this crusade's been launched. Uh, to Cairo we go. War readiness has been increased, okay. Let's just remind ourselves who we actually at war with now. So we got Kingdom of Scotland, but that's fine. Kingdom of Denmark. And we are unreliable. And so no one's going to want to do um, treaties with us. And I don't blame them. They are improving though, which is nice. Let's see how France is getting on. Let's just scroll down to France. Uh, 23. It's funny how like their strength rankings jump up and down. Okay, let's um, have a seat, shall we? I will meet you guys on the battlefield map. Okay, here we are on the battlefield map. I just played it a little bit as we had our reinforcements coming in. So we decided to deploy on this side of the castle because there's no towers or anything. Oh, they do have our archers on the barricade, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we like outnumber them quite severely, but again, it's just going to be good fun at the end of the day. Um, so let's just select all of these uh, spearmen here, not the billmen, just the, oh, unselect those guys, select you, there we go, just get our troops all nicely organized. Oh. Uh, we've got loads of archers, we can use them to assault the side of the city, which I'm going to do. I'm going to pop them over here. Take you guys. 
you can march up as well a little bit. So if we can shoot these guys into the backs or whatever, it'll be quite nice. Okay, enough of that. That's a uh, normal speeder for now as everyone gets into position. And then we're going to... Can try and get these guys on the walls. Do something like that. Yep, Siege Towers are on route. We can also move you guys up. We'll do something like that for now. But you can walk. There's no need to run. And then we can move up the rest of the army. Oh, let's get rid of that cavalry unit. Don't want him selected. Oh, it keeps... Again, there's something wrong with my alt tab. Every time I press it, it doesn't work properly. Oh, okay, that was my bad. They didn't get uh, selected properly in time. There we go. Do something like that. Yes, all our English knights. Move our general up. You can watch what's going on. Um, I don't know what you guys' ranges are. We're not in range just yet, but we're going to have our archers going to start shooting these guys in the flank soon. And that would be pretty good. Here's our reinforcement archers. We'll pop them like so at an angle. Oh, we got our towers. They are going. Let's um, just get, get a couple of shots here. So here's our kin somewhere. Oh, there he is with the golden crown. Pretty cool. Watching these siege towers approach the city of Edinburgh. Cool. Archers seem to be in range now. Well, they should be. If not, we'll push them up a little bit more forward. There we go. They should definitely be in range now. Oh, there they go. Slightly in range. And we're getting shot at. Um, let's go into loose spacing to help alleviate that issue. And then push up a little bit more. Towers are still going. Men just behind. Got a weird sort of formation going on, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's do something like that. I'll fix that a bit. Cavalry, we can um, push up. Again, just, just walk. There's no need to run. It's all fine. Oh, actually shooting these guys. Okay. Loose spacing. If you can hit them, please do. You should be able to. Should be actually pretty decent targets for you. Shoot them right in the bank as well. Um, yeah, some of them. Well, that, look, that looks like a good volley. Oh, nice. Right in the head. Random arrow. Oh, yes. Nice. Well done. We are approaching on the city. Should be doing quite a lot of damage to them. But I'm just glad we got these towers because they are helping to stop and soak up arrow fire. Instead of hitting my own men. So that's quite nice. Nearly there. Yep, they are killing them quite nicely. We do outnumber them so much though, so it's going to be quite an easy fight. Let's um, get in here. Look at all the, uh, the men behind. Oh, there's my favorite part though. When they drop the drawbridge. Go, go, go! Here we are, jumping onto the walls now. Oh, getting stabbed straight away by some billmen. Hopefully they're not too effective because they are on the walls and not in like a decent pike phalanx. Uh, let's just see what's going on here. Don't have any spears with us straight away. Let's uh, push up. Uh, we should definitely send some spearmen towards the gate. Put some spears on that side. Uh, those archers are destroyed. Um, if you guys can... Let's pop your normal spacing now, just because it's a little bit easier to manage where you are. And then we can still shoot at these archers. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we're on the walls here as well. Let's go push them down. We don't have a battling ram, unfortunately. Um, let's just form up here with these sergeants just to block this cavalry. Yep. As I said, they are coming. Hopefully, they don't get a decent charge off. Uh, they're getting some kills. But let's get some spears on there next just to help them kill that cavalry. I think that will be a good shot. Ooh. 
Uh, these guys are not having a good time. I uh, don't know if we can shoot them at all, really. It's form up our archers. They are shooting the bellmen here. Okay, we are routing them. Let's go help our friends here. And you can help capture the gates. Then we're rushing with our spears and then cavalry as well. Uh, who are you, archers? Yep, you can move up again. There we go. Uh, let's start pushing up these spears as well, I think. Just need to get men on the walls. Um, this unit's routing. I'm not too sure why. They weren't like heavily outnumbered. But these are Highlanders. Oh, I'll say that, but uh, they don't look really heavily armored, so I'm surprised that they are actually running away, but that's fine. We'll, we can only do our best. Oh, gate's almost damaged. If we can do some damage to that, actually, we can maybe just push into there that way as well. Um, you guys are routing. Let's get our generals up here. Use those spears to take down their cavalry. Hopefully this helps their morale just a little bit. They are losing decisively though. They are breaking. Okay. That's fine. We are sending more men up on the walls. Damage uh, the gate's almost damaged. Doesn't think I don't think it's got oil. Hopefully it doesn't. Where's our billman? Cool. I don't know if we could do that, but that's fine. We'll rush on in with our spears. I'll need to remember that for next time. Uh, we're going to lose that unit for sure because they are getting absolutely wrecked. Um, spears, if you go on. Swordsmen, if you then fall back and then fight these guys. Spears, go after them as well. Let's just get our spears fight uh, to the front line here. There we go. It looks like they've taken the lead. Which is nice to see. Uh, we haven't lost any of our general's bodyguard yet because they are in cover. Tell you guys, we can now... Mm, Billman, you're in phalanx mode. Uh, let's do one at a time. Let's make it nice and thick. And then tell you to push up like that. And then same with you. I'll just wait a little bit. Uh, Tell that guy to run a little bit, and then, and then we'll walk up. There we go. Because we want to walk in, uh, sort of pike wall. Of this unit now. That's fine. We have taken the walls pretty much. Just need to hit these guys on the flanks, and they should be good to go. How many men did they have left? They've got less or oh, over a thousand. Um, spear sergeants, if you don't mind going after them. Uh, let's use you guys, the English foot knights. Charge down here. We well, might be having a little bit of friendly fire there, but it looks cool, so we'll leave it as is, I think. Looks like we've conquered the gates. Let's send some extra men in. Hopefully you've defeated that cavalry. Looks like there's still some there. Just give them another attack order. Got some dueling going on in the outskirts here. Uh, looks like we've got some English sergeants coming in as well to help out. Oh, I should probably look at what that is, actually. Oh, our generals. Oh, one button. Um, don't know why he's in. Cool. Uh, looks like we have defeated all of these guys. Uh, we can send a couple of units. 
to go that way, which we will do. Our buildmen are up as well. That's fine. Let's uh, try and do a little sneaky tactic. Use these English foot knights to um, hit these guys in the flanks. We'll form a column and then charge. Just keep running, forget about them, don't engage. I'm surprised how well they're holding here, really. Um, we've got some archers, again, just getting a bit too excited, so we'll just make everyone fall back, take you off fire well. Cool, now we can turn and let's just draw our line. There we go. And that should help flank these guys. Oh wow, they have some archers that are shooting us. We're sending some extra troops around the city here. There we go. Help stops them from flanking us at least. A lot of blood going on here. I think we were attacked. That's fine. Oh, come on, just break. These guys hold on so long, but fair enough. Uh, we've only got 101 sergeants here. But we've got some spears that can help us out. Charge those archers. We'll use the spearmen to do everything else. Get rid of those archers. I uh, guess we can get our cavalry in now. Charge these guys. Yeah, these Highlanders, man. Uh, it is one of their last capitals, so I guess that's why they are fighting down to the last man. Oh, he just like, got stabbed him straight in the chest with an axe. Looks like we're busy capturing uh, this uh, little morale point as well. The fighting is thick in the streets of Edinburgh. Oh, nice. Oh. Head off. He's head off. Uh, he's pulled out his bow uh, as he runs away. But he might get stuck. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> very, very brutal indeed. Uh, let's get our spearmen. They're going to have to lead the charge against the enemy general because he's a spearman unit, uh, a cavalry unit. Looks like they're holding up in an old coliseum or some sort of amphitheater type thing. Uh, you guys can just chase off them. Let's get our general over here. Spears are going. Everyone else can sort of move up as well. Are you, you guys are still pretty fresh actually. A bit surprising. Uh, we can maybe put him in um, spear wall as well if he decides to charge. I just want to spread us out a bit in case he does do that. We could just use loads of archers and shoot him out, but you know, let's just get this done. Let's um, speed it up here. Charge him. Victory point is about to fall to your men. Ah. Hoping you can just do it just before, and that should help them kill these guys. But that should be fine. Loads of infantry, just mob them now. How are these archers doing against our troops? Um, yeah, they're holding on, but they are getting support from the arrow towers. So it's fine. Sending the unit of cavalry just to help out, maybe. Uh, these guys are still holding, but should break soon. There we go, and that's that, victory! Here we are on the campaign map, and our sergeants have taken quite a bit of a beating. As you can see here, we did lose one unit, uh, the rest of the army is doing fine. We've lost just over a thousand, and they lost almost twice as many. Uh, we will just occupy. At your um, they shouldn't have an army here. We hunger for battle. Uh, we're going to immediately upgrade our campaign map movement range. We can join the crusade now as well. Um, steady to get that morale buffs. Um, integrity. Why? Uh, Casualty suffered. Okay, well, we're going to just get the 6% morale increase, I think. Um, that's risk it and send you guys. 
So we can always siege him and then bring up our oh, kit. Ah, oh, they do have some troops here. Ready for further orders. Besieging the settlement. Let's get our towers going. We take this settlement. If they just decide to come out, we can then always retreat or just fight them. They have loads of archers. Commander. Just to get that guys going. Let's repair everything. Cool. Just one more province and then we were taking out Scotland. Um, here we go. We got a upgrade. So we will get that. And what do we want here? Maybe some more copper veins to help increase our income silver deposit uh, does it tell you what's worth more forget how you, how do you do that um it's a trade so there's lots of things that look the same so like the stone copper producing Cloth, spices, silk, glass, slaves. Oh, do we do we have slaves? Copper. This value is ten. Okay, what's wine? Oh, our wine's much higher. Okay, I think this is. Oh no, it's not in in how important is it? Is it uh, four, six, eight? Um, where's the copper again? Ten and then silver is fourteen. Ah, oh, so so then if that's the case, then basically copper would be more. I'm um, not as good as silver. But for the sake of it, let's just get copper because it's got the little resource there. So yeah, that's what. That's why. Let's just let's give it a try. Do you know what I mean? Okay, that's um. Ooh, skills. Um, we are governor. What's this? Wealth. Not too bad, uh, but we're going to go down the bureaucrat and then to get that tax rate up. Same with pretty much everyone who is a governor. We're going to go down those sort of development trees, just like that. Oh, maybe we should put you as a warrior because you are fighting. Integrity. Mm. Let me get you. Just making sure these guys do not fight. Um, you are a governor, so there's no need to upgrade your cavalry ability. So that's fine. Ready for battle. Um, three turns until you're replenished, seven turns until you're replenished. We can always merge up and then re-recruit. Uh, we actually can't, there's no buildings here. What, what gives us the ability to build, is it the castles? Provides garrison, unlocks a recruitment of, yeah. So it's the, these guys need castles in order to get um, the English foot knights and things, okay. I still Ready want to build a this. Catholic church. Probably when this is um, convertible, I want to get a military order. So can we fight? Oh no, we didn't. We didn't end the turn yet. I thought we did. That's uh, end, oh, it's going to be winter next turn. So we need this. We can use um, Chicken John's army to push up. There comes Sicily. Oh, I'm like, do we build more troops here? Because we need to finish this war up in Scotland and then send our troops down because we're going to have to fight these armies off if they sail right past Bordeaux, that is. If they do, we can disband that army and save us a little bit of extra income. Our They've ended their trade agreements. Okay. Um, we are breaking loads of uh, agreements and things, so that's probably why. Um, or we're going to take attrition if we move, but let's just see what the Orn Resolve suggests. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'll win that even if we did Ready fight it ourselves, so let's move up you guys. We're going to take a bit of attrition, but we'll have that. Um, let's go balance stance here. As we just have a siege battle, we'll just all resolve this one. It, it, they did even better than us, <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, we'll occupy. I almost subjugated it, so I wanted him to attack, so we have the exact same thing. We'll upgrade the campaign um, movement range. Perfect. And then again, the morale. Cool. Ready for battle. Uh, I guess we'll just move you back. I know they're going to take more attrition going back, but that's fine. Um, these guys are still a couple turns away. I'm just paranoid about how many troops we need because we've got these two armies. 
just get just in case you know what i mean just in case uh we need to build a silver mine here pig sty okay we're getting some money from that um i want to get some salt in here you don't have a thing so you might even get a catholic um a military templar Ready order just to get these better knights because these guys don't seem to be lasting the english foot knights are quite good let's look at these stats so they're a little bit more damage morale is much higher missile block tranche is much like almost double so yeah that's fair enough okay let's repair everything that we can save the rest of our money just because we're running low and we need that war chest sweeney is dead and we'll go after your crude wares no longer suit oh they've the ended our trade okay we kind of need that trade that gives us like 400 gold you know sicily is still moving up to our armies We still have war with Denmark. We'll try and not break any more treaties and things. Oh, and then saying that we have to go after Ireland. We cannot. We can just leave Ireland for now. Oh wait, a lie. They've ended it. So what am I, what am I talking about? Mercenary contracts. Um, there's no mercenaries to get. I don't think. That's definitely. Yeah, it's definitely not in the game. I was just making sure, just in case. Um, fields. We've got quite a lot of food. Anyway, let's go for sheep. This is ready here. Jewish. Oh, we need. You can get. Them. So we can build the um, Templar order temp thing here. Uh, we are not replenishing. Is it because there's not enough manpower? Yeah, I don't think there's any manpower. So we'll march down to Nottingham because we can actually reach it. That's why you want to go for campaign map movement range. There we go. We are now replenishing. Um. I don't know how to look at your population. This is surplus, yeah, but like, how many men are there that we can draw from? Uh, we're gonna take a couple turns to obviously sit there. How? Yeah, it's fine. I don't know why they built this Jewish um, community building. It's fine. We're making 700 a turn. That's okay. We can always disband troops as and when is needed. Uh, we've got 19 here. That's fine. If anything, we can like. Now let's, let's leave it as is. We're going to march down to London or maybe Bristol because they are coming. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap up things for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below. And subscribe to see more Total War content right here on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video.